What did he do then? Well, he put me in his truck, and I went to his house. Oh, and then what happened? When he unloaded me out in his shop. Oh, I see. And I spent the night there in his house. Oh, and then what happened? Well, the next day, Tim Seltzer came down, and he picked up the wood, and he, in his shop, he got his knife, and he began to wiggle, and 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 well, carry on, boys and girls, moms and dads, a little boy. Yes, a little boy. Ah, you're a cute little boy, too, weren't you? Up there in Pontiac, Michigan. And then what happened? Well, Tim got a big old box to put me in. Oh, you were going to be going on a journey? Yes, sir. He packed me up in a big old box, and he got me on one of those chocolate trucks. UPS. Yeah, yeah, chocolate truck UPS. Uh-huh. And where did you go? I went from Pontiac, Michigan, down to Virginia. Ah, yes, that's where Mrs. Lydie and our family were all living at the time. And that was on September 1987. Yes. The chocolate truck came up from Brother Lighty's house, and I heard Brother Lighty, oh, he got here, just like a little kid with a new toy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I was excited. And, and he said, oh, Mrs. Lighty, look at here. I think Jason got here. And I thought, what in the world is that guy doing? And I got in the, he got me in the house, and I hear all this crack as he was opening me up. Ah, yes, that box was there, and I began to open up, open up that box. And he, he kept bringing papers out, and pretty soon, I saw the little and I thought, ooh, how ugly. <laughs> I thought, how did you, God's name, did I end up with me? <laughs> now, Jason, it wasn't all that bad. Well, yes, you scared me when I saw you. Would you quit, Jason? <laughs> Well, I pulled Jason out. I'm sure it did. I was trembling to my fears. Would you quit, Jason? Well, Jason, I brought him out of the box, and I looked at him, and oh, what a beautiful little boy. Yeah, and then he began to move my eyes around and my mouth, and you know what the other he said? He said, oh, a little boy. And he said, little boy, you know what I'm going to do with you? I'm going to take you and to talk to boys and girls about Jesus and mothers and daddies too and I'm going to take you everywhere to tell them about Jesus and I thought oh how's he going to do that I just got a piece of wood on an old basswood tree I used to be the knot on the tree you know and there I was a little old tree. And I thought, how is Brother Whitey going to use a, a something made out of wood? And Brother Whitey said, well, little boy, I'm going to give you a voice. A voice. Yes, I gave you a voice, didn't I? And I'm going to have you go with me and tell others about Jesus. Boy. I sure didn't know what to do. Here I was, an old piece of wood, and he's going to have me tell others about Jesus. And I thought, wow, that's going to be something. And I thought, ooh, I think I'm going to run around with Brother Lightning. That's right. And we had a great time together, didn't we? Yes, we sure have. And you know, Jason, we've had a great time, haven't we? In every opportunity we have, we tell them how to go to heaven. And boys and girls and mothers and dads tell them how to go to heaven. And Brother Heidi, you know, he has me talk to boys and girls and tell them about Jesus and how he died upon the cross with nails in his hands, nails in his feet. He hung and died upon that cross. Yes, Jesus died upon that cross. And Brother Whitey told me also how that Jesus was crucified on a piece of wood also one day. And somebody cut down that old tree and hacked it up. 
and laid it into an old cross and hung Jesus on it. And yes, Jason, we tell others about Jesus, don't we? We sure do. And my, you know, as I tell folks about Jesus, I get so excited I wish that I wish that I could get saved. I know. But I don't got no heart. I don't got no heart. I don't got no soul. And I'm just a piece of wood. Knock on wood. That's all I am. A piece of wood. That's right. And Jason, you don't have a heart and soul. But I sure wish and I could go to heaven. But you can't, Jason. But you know what? What's that? If I was a little boy. A little boy? Yeah. If I was a little boy like Larry Jr. out there. If you was a real little boy like Larry Jr., what would you do? If I was a little boy, a real little boy, and had a heart and soul, you know what I would do? I would say, yeah, Lord. I realize that I'm a sinner. Please, Lord, give me a life sin and save me. So that I could go to heaven. So that I could be with Jesus. If I was real, that's what I would do. Amen. Amen. Don't take us dummy to see that home on the other group No, no. Amen. And that's what you would do if you was real? Uh-huh. Amen. And that's what this little fella and I have been doing for quite a while, is telling others about Jesus. Yes. And I like to see little boys and girls put their faith and trust in Jesus. Yes, and moms and dads, boys and girls, if God can take and use a piece of wood that was cut down and carved, what can God do in your life? If you just be surrendered to be what Jesus would have you to be. What can God do with you? Amen. Amen. Carmine should have to get Jay, happy to get Jason. We, we're going to contact him. <laughs> him, Brother Lighty, has been a, practicing a little bit. And uh, I don't have time to put this in the program. I don't know why I'm wasting your time. Not, but I think it's one of the most stupidest things I've ever seen. <laughs>